name is Jose Davalos and this is my makeup entry for the makeup artist giving back scholarship. Thank you for watching. Hello, my name is Jose Davalos. This is my video that I decided to make for the makeup artist giving back scholarship. I decided to use a character category using prosthetics that I created. All you see was made by me using materials that you can easily find. It took me about four weeks to make everything from scratch. The character I chose to do using makeup effects was Hades from the movie Disney Hercules. It was quite challenging recreating him because I wanted him to have a realistic feel, keeping his symbolic features with the architectural grid design. I read a lot about the character and his design and he was meant to have symbolic architectural shapes. So I did that using very sharp angular features, but with a more horror twist because I really like scary characters and also making him look older. So he just, just wasn't a cartoon but a creature in real life. I also decided to use myself as a model because I find very interesting what you can do with yourself, altering your features using prosthetics and shadows and highlights. This character was mainly made with, uh, as I said before, with stuff that you can easily find because in the place where I live, I don't have like access to all the materials that you need for making like special effects. So, um, this was like an, a new way to do things because I had to be very creative in what to use to make things work. This is what I love doing, sitting in front of a mirror for hours and changing my features with makeup. I love art. All my life I've been highly inspired by Disney villains. This makeup was also inspired by old theatrical makeup with a more real touch of life because if it was just theatrical makeup it would look funny uh, when you do close-ups so I try to very strong shading and then realistic touches on top of the character and Hades is one of the most challenging ones and different because he has very particular features and colors in every character I try to add a touch of myself always keeping the familiar shapes and then using what I like the most, which are for sculpted expressions like angry brows and pointy noses and wrinkles because I love old features. I try to allow the character to always stay as evil as he can. So when I was making gestures, the expressions would be more obvious. I started by covering my eyebrows with wax. Then I moved into the prosthetic applications. I use prosthetic adhesive and a large cutie. Then I base the whole foam with packs and paint in layers so it would not just look plain gray. And after that I decided to do some old age spots with a sponge and a little bit more depth. Next, after all the color and base was put on, then I moved on to the airbrush. And first I started like breaking up the the colors by doing some modeling then I added some veins and some shadows and highlights to emphasize the wrinkles on the face and then making the face look more angular then emphasizing the angry brows and then doing some old spots and some some more veins and detail work in layers so it would look more like translucent skin. When I was reading about the character, the hardest part when I was first sculpting it was that I needed to pay a lot of attention on the symmetry and the shapes because it has to look harmonic and organic. So it was very complicated, like achieving the shapes with the Greek designs that I was. Um, doing investigation about. When I first tried using makeup, I didn't know that I was going to like it so much. It's very beautiful what you can do on it with colors and sculpting things. All these Navillians are all very interesting, but this one, the God of the Underworld, was perfect because I also like very long and skinny faces. I learned mostly what I know from asking questions and try to make things work with household materials, 
because here in Mexico, where I am from, you cannot have access to materials for special effects. So I only was using acrylic paints, packs, and cream makeup. I believe that using makeup and art together can make you do things that you didn't know you could be able to do. And I love using makeup as a way of expressing myself and who you really are. Then, using black washes of acrylic paints, I created shadows and highlights on the cheeks and forehead wrinkles. And on the top of that, I added a shimmery powder to make him look like a real god, so he was always glowing. I always try to keep <clears throat> what I do in a theatrical way, because as a child, I was very inspired by theatrical makeup. That is why I painted the waterline to make my eyes look bigger. Using the airbrush on myself was kind of really hard, because... It's not like when you are airbrushing someone else that you can like zoom into his face. So it was quite challenging to do it on myself. But I think for being like my first time using airbrush on myself, I did okay. Then I finished with a black eyeshadow and black gel liner on the lips. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it as much as I did. I had a lot of fun. I know it could, could have been done better, but I would continue practicing and making things. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. After all, she's not a prisoner, she's our guest, and we must make her feel welcome here. And Captain Hook never breaks a promise. Proving that true love conquers Sola. <laughs> oh, and there is one more thing. <laughs> See that Lucifer gets his back.